Hello, I'm going to go over the power consumption of the Siglid SVA 1015X Spectrum Vector Network Analyzer. Anyway, I'm going to measure the off and standby mode power, the Spectrum Analyzer mode power with the preamp and tracking generator, the vector analysis mode, the distance to fault mode, the modulation analysis and modulation analysis modes. I'll show line current waveforms for each mode. I'll show the power analyzer next to the unit as it powers up and switches into e each mode. And I'll demonstrate that there's a consistent hard crash mode when turning the VNA mode on with the preamp on. The test equipment used for this will be a Siglent SDS-1104X-E oscilloscope, a Tektronix P6042 current probe, was probably built when I was in high school in the 70s, <laughs> and uh, a, with a 50 ohm line termination in line with the uh, into input to the uh, Siglid oscilloscope because it does not have 50 ohm inputs and this requires a 50 ohm input. And a PZEM P -Z -E -M, watt power factor meter, which you can see here. You can also see here, here's the current probe probe and here is the box and it's against the back of the uh, Siglid oscilloscope here. Okay, so the spectrum analyzer is still in standby mode. I'm now going to power on and we're going to watch the current come up as the system powers on. It's in the uh, uh, startup screen. It's still saying signaling on the front. Now it's gone into spectrum analyzer mode. Now the uh, the power monitor over here is now saying 282 milliamps and 24.8 watts of power consumption with a power factor of 0.74. Now I'm going to turn the tracking generator on. And the uh, power has come up now to 300 milliamps to 26.1 watts and still a power factor of 0.74. Now let's turn the preamp on. Turning the preamp on didn't change the current at all. Now let's put it in vector analyzer mode. And it crashed putting it into vector analyzer mode with the preamp on. So I'm going to have to power it down. turned it back. Okay, so I had to power cycle it to reset it. There's no way to, when it crashes, you actually have to power cycle it and by unplugging it. I have it plugged into a power strip, so I switched it. So let's turn it back on. Now it's in the uh, boot up screen again. Power factor seems to say stay pretty consistent around 0 0.72, 0 0.74, no matter what mode it's in. Now let's put it into the uh, vector network analyzer mode. And now we're up to 306 milliamps and 26.5 watts, power factor of 0.73. So I'm going to turn it back off. I'm 
So now it's in standby mode. And here, let me adjust the current. So I adjusted the, the current. Custom. Okay, so now the current's reading directly, and so again, this is when it's turned off. This is the current it draws in, uh, in uh, off mode, and it's showing on the power meter 60 milliamps, 4.41 watts, and a power factor of 0.63. So it's a pretty high off current, uh, uh, off state power draw. Um, but that's just the way it is. Thank you. Okay, this is more power consumption video of the Siglid SVA1015X Spectrum and Network Analyzer. Let's turn on the power to the unit. So right now it's in standby mode. If unless you unplug it, this is the power it draws all the time. Uh, it kind of varies between 4.4, 4.5 watts, 60 to 70 milliamps. Uh, pretty high off-state power consumption. And I confirmed with Siglid that it's not powering anything inside, the, you know, if it was like running a crystal oven, uh, you know, to maintain the stability, that would be one thing. But this is just off-state power consumption. So let's uh, turn the unit on. So here we are, let's go, let's turn the preamp on, see if that changes anything. No, the preamp added a, maybe a milliamp or something, let's turn it off. Now the preamp doesn't add any power. Let's turn on the tracking generator. Okay, so we can see now that with the tracking generator on, it added about 25 milliamps to the uh, current, con current use. Let's go to uh, vector analysis mode. And here, it's a hard crash. Um, you can see when I go to vector analysis mode with the uh, preamp turned on, here I, I will cycle the power and we'll try it again. So I did that before. So that's a confirmed crash mode. If you turn on the uh, uh, network analyzer while the preamp is on, it, it goes into, uh, it, it it's a hard crash. So 
so now let's go to vector okay so now we're back in spectrum analyzer mode let's turn on the network analyzer okay and so this comes up just slightly more power than with the tracking generator on but again there's probably some extra circuitry for the network analyzer the network analysis that comes on as well let's go back to Let's try these other modulation analysis mode. Distance default mode. Vector analyzer mode. So it appears to use from just looking at the power consumption, it's using the vector network analyzer feature to do the distance default because the power consumption appears to be about the same. Let's go back to spectrum analyzer mode again. Let's turn the tracking generator back on. So here, just slightly less power than the network analyzer mode with the tracking generator on. Now let's turn the unit off again. Okay. Okay. So the power, so here's the conclusion from this. The power consumption when it's on is very reasonable, about 25 watts. Uh, the off-state power consumption is very high, 4.4 watts. Uh, the unit should probably be unplugged or powered down with a power strip when not in use. And uh, there's a consistent hard crash mode when you switch the, into VNA mode when the preamp is turned on. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.